Hey guys, in this video, we will be explaining about the all new Exynos 9 series mobile SOC which is gonna be used in the upcoming Samsung flagships. Let's get started. The Exynos 9810 was announced last week which is built on Samsung's second generation 10 nanometer FinFET process and has third generation custom CPU cores. To be precise, the Exynos 9810 has 4 high performance custom cores clocked up to 2.9 GHz and 4 ARM Cortex A55 cores clocked at 1.9 GHz. It also uses ARM's Dynam IQ Tech, which was announced last year as an improvement to the Big Little. Moving on to the GPU, the Exynos 9810 has Mali G72 MP18 GPU, though its clock speeds weren't disclosed. It's worth noting that the GPU core count is decreased from Exynos 8895's G71 MP20 but the performance should still be faster overall. Samsung's newest SOC also has a new modem with LTE CAD 18 1.2 Gbps downlink and LTE CAD 18 200 Mbps uplink. The Exynos 9810 has a dedicated image processing and upgraded multi-format codec which can record and playback video up to 4K resolution at 120 frames per second. It also supports HEVC and VP9 codecs as well. The Exynos 9810 is set to enhance neural network based deep learning. According to Samsung, it introduces sophisticated features that allow the processor to accurately recognize people or items in the photos for faster image searching or categorizing. This is the benchmark scores of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 which is used in Samsung Galaxy S9. We can expect a slight increase in scores on the Exynos version. According to the company, multi-core performance is improved by around 40% compared to its predecessor. The SOC is also set to enable seamless multitasking with faster loading and transition times between apps. Let's see how it fares once the phone launches. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. If you end up liking our content, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Tech Beyond for more. We will see you soon.